is a duck blur Might solve a mystery Or rewrite history Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel We're discussing Mandela effects and of the life Thanks for joining me today as we uncover the mysteries of the Mandela effect itself And find out the true meaning of it all We must discover what is really happening? What is really going on here? What difference does that make? This was a dream, a fantasy. I mean, you said just shut up, off setter, and tell me where the ticket is. Hey guys, what is up? I I discovered a brand new Emmy. I haven't heard anyone talk about this one. Relates to Shirley Temple, and let me tell you, it's kind of interesting. I have Teresa Lynch here on the line. Say say hi, Teresa. Hey everyone. Hey, uh, I've discovered that it seems that whenever we have sinks. You know, where you're thinking like like uh, something that someone else is about to say, that means that's when you discover an ME. At least that's the way it works for me sometimes. Uh, I was at the dinner table yesterday, and I was asking my mother, I said, uh, have you, uh, or do you play games on your phone? And the next thing I know, on my phone, there's a song that pops up about video games um, by Taylor Swift that talks about video games. So... That is just one synchronicity I've had. I've had plenty more. I've had another one where I'm washing the dishes and, and uh, I heard the song by um, Philip Phillips come on, like a raging fire. And you know that song? And sure enough, somebody left the stove on. And I'm glad that that song popped up because it reminded me to check the stove. It wasn't me who left it on, but you know, I'm just saying that's, that's the way it works. It's like a warning sign maybe. Maybe that's how they, they speak to us. So. I, uh, as, th now this one about the dentist, little, I was watching Little Shop of Horrors the other night and I caught something about September 23rd, okay, uh, in the very beginning of the movie it mentions September 23rd is the end, basically, um, and there's, there's also a solar eclipse tied into it in that movie, and I, I thought about it, and, and also, uh, me, I was riding in the car with my mother, and she was playing that song. Um, we were we were listening to Little Shop of Horrors, the whole album on YouTube Music. And what was playing at the time was, um, well, it was "Son, You'll Be a Dentist," okay. And, and it's so weird how that works because I have proof now. Um, Teresa was sending me a message and said, "At dentist." which was really bizarre. That happened within seconds of me listening to this song. <laughs> this is the song I heard. I didn't even know that. I swear. I was at the dentist waiting. Wait, Teresa, to Teresa, 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 hold on. Early. Teresa, hold on. Listen to the song. Yeah, people will pay oh, you to funny. be inhumane. What? What did that guy, that guy just snapped the head off the doll, that, that girl's, that little girl's doll. What the crap? Oh, man. Yeah, that's mean. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, so, that, yeah, here's the text message back and forth with me and Teresa. She was sending me updates on Hurricane Irma because we're in the affected area. And at 10.02 a.m., at dentist waiting outside for someone to arrive, my boss friend had me arrive here. And I was like, WTF, I was just listening to Son, You'll Be a Dentist from Little Shop of Horror. She said, no effing way. Um, LOL, swear I'm at dentist office now. This is getting too bizarre, LMAO. Okay. My phone you remember that, Teresa? It happened at 10.02 a.m. You're not showing my phone number, are you? No, no, just a, a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's a crop. Okay, yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah, it was really weird. I was yeah. just telling him about the dentist, and then all of a sudden he sent something back about... His song, The Dentist, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, and Teresa, I, I, I mean, owe... Can I talk about my bus pass? Well, well hold on just a second, because um, we want to get to the meat of the situation okay. first, okay? Hold, hold on. Is, this, right. is, it, is it related to the sweet trip at the candy shop? No. Okay, well, so hold, hurt. hold That's I know. Part of it. Hold on to the end, <laughs> Teresa. Let me just... I got a lot of tabs open here I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> so hold on to the end, okay? okay. Hold that thought. Um, so, anyway, so as we're looking here at, here's a meme on the good ship Lollipop. It's a sweet trip to what? Is it a candy shop or the candy shop? 
it it was the candy shop and I can prove it and now it's a candy shop that is so bizarre tell all your friends everybody should know this song it's it's Shirley Temple and something told me to check this song and this was right after Teresa told me about the dentist and we had a sink and what happens when you go when you eat a lollipop you eat too much lollipops your parents always tell you you're gonna you're gonna need you're gonna get cavities right so that that's what I was thinking like on the good ship lollipop it's a sweet trip to the candy shop. We're yeah, bonbons. By the way, they did find a cavity. <laughs> oh wow, that's funny. Yeah. So so I where? I get one, but I can't, I'm not going to get it taken care of for a few months. I know how it is. Uh, where, so what what happens, Teresa? So what? How does that part go? Where the bonbons play? Just sing sing the song for us so we know. On the good ship. Good ship, lollipop. It's a sweet trip to the candy shop where bonbons play. And then... It says something about on the, the sunny. <laughs> yeah, I just know that's that's like the key of the song. But listen to what Shirley Temple says now. Yeah. On the good yeah. ship, lollipop. It's a sweet trip to a candy shop where bonbons You hear her? She says A. On the good I'll slow it down for you. To a candy shop. It's been spiritually changed. Okay. She says A. To a. She says to a candy shop. So I wanted to pull this up on Wikipedia to tell you what the song is about real quick. And I'm trying to I'm trying to shorten this up as best as I can. But it's important. We I think the spirit is trying to tell us to dig deeper. Okay. So on the good ship, lollipop was the signature song of child actress Shirley Temple. Uh, Temple first sang it in the 1934 movie Bright Eyes. The song was composed by Richard A. Whit Whitling, or Whiting, Whiting, Whitting, W H I T I N G. Okay, and the lyrics were supplied by Sidney Clare. In the song, the good ship Lollipop travels to a candy land. The ship referred to in the song is an aircraft. The scene in Bright Eyes, where the song appears, takes place on it on a taxiing American Airlines Douglas DC2 400,000 copies of the sheet music published by Sam Fox Publishing Company were sold and a recording by Mae Questel the cartoon voice of Betty Boop and Olive Oil wow that's cool wow so so this kind of ties in Popeye as well you know cuz Popeye is a part of that reputedly sold more than 2 million copies. In 2004, it finished at number 69 on AFI's 100 Years 100 Song Survey. Wow. So, she's she's also famous for Animal Crackers in My Soup and Good Night, My Love. Okay. But I found tons of books here. There's residue all over the internet. And it talks about, let's see. Um, okay, this is a book, uh, Britan Britannia of Fire by Malcolm Roberts and he says on the good ship lollipop it's a sweet trip to the candy shop where the bonbons play on the sunny beach of peppermint bay right you know that one and the same thing yes. here um, Anna Maria Ward uncommon survivor from sand to bronze in this book uh, it says it's a sweet trip to the candy shop not a candy shop that's what's bugging me it's a sweet trip. It's a sweet trip to the candy shop, right? And listen to this. Here, if you here, looks like a sock puppet or something here. Yeah, to the candy shop. And then there's all these. And and I owe Teresa and Rena for finding me residue on this one. You guys both did a great job. Uh, this is from Twitter. It's a sweet trip to the candy shop. Look. So all these posts on Twitter are wrong, you're telling me now? I mean, what the heck is going on here? It's a sweet trip to the candy shop. I ought to ask yeah, my dentist I what, too, I, I ought to ask my dentist what he, what they remember. Because <laughs> they'll know. <laughs> uh, where my hug at it's on the stuck. good ship lollipop? On the good ship lollipop it's a sweet trip to the candy shop 
Yep. All these on Twitter. Okay. It seems like all the changes. Can I tell you something I'm noticing? It yeah. seems like everything is being changed from like like plural. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people, things are losing their s's too. Yes. Yes. And I think the s's are all about possession. It's yes. A, and yes. now it's going from when from something God to a. I mean, that's yeah. kind of like. It's you like, know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like Victoria's secret. And and, and it's it's about possession. Victoria has been possessed. Yes. Okay. And and what wasn't yeah. wasn't Victoria's secret based on like a gay guy that wanted to he wanted to uh, dress yes. fancy or something? He was he, yeah, he uh, liked to dress like as a woman. He was a um trans tra what do you call a person that uh, turns not, into a woman? I, I, I think it's like Trans a transvestite or something sexual? like that. Transhumanism or Trans something. Yeah. yeah, transsexual. Yeah. Which is which is let me just add yeah, that that is let me let, let me just add that I don't care if it offends anybody, it is a, it is an abomination to God and nature, okay? Listen to this. It's a sweet trip to the candy shop, see? Here's another cover, Rena Fami. To the candy shop. There we go again. Listen to this one. On the good I love her voice. Lollipop, it's a sweet trip to the candy shop. What the where bonbons play on the sunny beach of Peppermint Bay. Hmm. Okay. And I, I listened to the Dingalings, and I know that their, their name was funny, so I figured I'd click on them and listen to it, but it didn't come out right. It, they said they agreed with um with the way with the new way it is now with a candy shop. But check this. If you guys don't believe me, look at um, Shrek the Third. The gingerbread man, Gingy, sings it uh, the way we remember it. Listen. You hear that? He said it's a sweet trip to the candy shop. Let me yep. play that in slow motion. Okay, you guys heard that. If not, then turn up. You might have to turn up the volume because I'm not sure how to control a uh, volume other than mine on the laptop. So, um,. Another one that's funny that I heard today, actually I heard this yesterday. I was thinking some somebody told me may have changed and look look at this. You tell me if this is an ME because I, I'm remembering anything goes in a place like this and now it says heaven ain't close in a place like this. That's scary. And he repeats it throughout the song so I would have picked up on that. You know I have pretty good hearing. Look at this. Listen to this. Yeah, don't blink or you might miss, right? But heaven ain't close in a place like this. That that just isn't right to me. That's scary. That's crazy. Wow. Teresa, you there? Yeah. Hey, what do you want to share earlier? I'm, I'm sorry. What do you want to share earlier? Oh, I completely forgot now. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I apologize. It's all right. I completely forgot. It's all right. It happens. That it'll come back to you. I, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's just I'm trying to finish the video. But yeah, guys. Um, thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela effect day, and God bless.